right, so we're doing hydrolysis of piperin. About 10 grams of potassium hydroxide dissolved in. About 65 milliliters of 100% uh, ethanol. Um, we're refluxing it for about three hours to get the piperinic acid out of it. Piperidine too. I really have no use for that, but it will be separated. Alright, we're up to the next stage of things. We have distilled the ethanolic piperidine solution off. Uh, there was still some left, not much. It was pretty solid at the bottom, but you can smell what's there. The spicy pepper aroma is pretty well gone. Um, so we now have potassium piperidine, uh, or potassium piperate. I'm not really sure. Clarify that for me, somebody, please. So, uh, I think it's piperinate. Uh, so, we got that. We're sitting here letting everything dissolve, storing the absolute living crap out of it. About 1200 RPMs. So, we're gonna get everything into solution. We're gonna vacuum filter. And then we're gonna add HCL. Or piperinic acid, or uh, potassium piperinate. As we add, I don't know how exothermic that's going to be, but Alright, my messy ass is working on the garage floor, but all I really have to say right now is hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. Damn. It's gorgeous. Piperinic acid. Um, eventually just became an entire slurry, and I tried to get a little bit up on a PDH paper, let it soak away from the yellow so I could actually see the color, and it was really acidic, so therefore... Everything's been converted. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna vacuum filter it, wash out the, the flask, give it a nice bath, you're nice and clean and dry her up. Alright, I think this uh, this was a really cool procedure and I've kinda got this a little messed up. I'll explain. So my final piperin, this is from white pepper. 
I have none of it left from the black pepper. I used it all for the piperinic acid. Now, uh, I, all right, so the smell of piperin from black pepper is, is pleasant. Um, I got my white pepper off Amazon. Um, actually, here, let me get it real quick. Normally I do, don't do all this kind of chemistry in my kitchen, but it's a pepper extract, it's, you know, whatever. So I got my white pepper, boom, used all of it but that to make that, minus a little bit I had to add to make the piperinic acid because I had like a half a gram too little. So I just threw about like half a gram of that into the black pepper stuff. Anyways, blabbing on. Hyperinic acid. Shit. Okay. Anyways, get that cleaned up in a minute. Um, this stuff is absolutely like really nice smelling when it's hot. It has almost no smell. Uh, you know, when I first saw the Kim Player video on this, he related the smell to bubble gum, and I agree to an extent. Uh, piperinic acid to me has almost no smell, but while drying it out in the oven, it made the most pleasant bubblegum aroma. It was it was heavy. I mean, it was it was very strong. Clearly bubblegum, kind of like a woody bubblegum, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't try it as hard with this because I like I said I have no use for this uh, piperidine hydrochloride. I basically just took the piperidine oil that was distilled off and added some HCl to it and boom. That, so I believe a lot of the smoke that was being seen from the addition of hydrochloric acid to the um, potassium piperinate was leftover piperidine. I definitely should have more than that, but whatever. Um, like I said, I have no use for it, so it's a nice, I guess, addition as a collection um, thing, so. But this experiment was kind of, like, I'm kind of a beginner. I'm more self-taught, I guess. Um, but this is kind of like a, a basic lab skill. So we got these, um, you know, this product into those two products. And it's all very cool. Um, Could have gone on to Piperonal, but no. Um, no, she chose not to, so, um, I thought this was a very cool experiment. I actually have a second experiment planned for this, and I'm making the piperidine uh, per iodide. Um, I believe is what it was. It said, uh, you know, the piperidine, and it was like HI, uh, dash I2, I believe, which on the Wikipedia page, I'm kind of going off memory here, so pardon me if I'm, like, way off base. But uh, I talked to PMC about it, uh, poor man's chemist, and he informed me, like, it's, it's not really, like, unique or, or new. Um, it's a periodide. Just like he's done, I believe it was rubidium periodide uh, or something like that. I'm probably going to look wrong again, but um, I'm going off memory, and my memory is crap. But uh, I, I just think it would be cool. It says it crystallizes out of steel blue needles and... It's characteristic of periodides, as he had let me know, but uh, still going to be cool. I haven't really seen anybody do this, and for some reason, this one stupid sentence on Wikipedia has me just absolutely curious. So, enough blabbing. That is the end of this experiment, and hopefully you liked it. Um, if you liked it, do like and subscribe. Come back for more. Um, all of my equipment is bought by myself self-taught. Um, I just have the the want to learn, the want to know more, and I just love chemistry. I think it's really cool. I would, I would love to do it as a career one day, but uh, for now, this is, this is fine. I love it. Have a great day.